COVID-19 hasn't left a single industry unscathed, and that includes sex work. The industry has been crippled by restrictions that rule out close contact, an essential part of the job. So many sex workers are getting creative. Jenna Love is an escort based in the Blue Mountains area in New South Wales. She's been making porn for years, but the pandemic has shifted her focus to new services. Video calls, sexting sessions, uh, virtual girlfriend experiences, and dick ratings, which have been surprisingly very popular. There's no cure for COVID-induced loneliness, but one of Jenna's newer services is addressing a growing niche. A virtual girlfriend experience is um, a non-sexual service where we spend the whole time chatting, essentially, sending texts, um, sharing photos, perhaps videos. Um, I might send a snap of me doing my laundry or a photo with my cat. It's essentially companionship. But virtual sex work isn't for everyone. And online gigs mean some have had to take a serious pay cut, earning much less than they ever have before. Even those who have moved to online work have found that um, it, it really just doesn't quite cover the bills and it's certainly you can't earn as much as you can in person. A number of sex workers don't have access to government support, don't have a source of income. The JobKeeper allowance seems the most obvious solution, but some believe it could do more harm than good. There are a number of sex workers who are excluded due to their visa status or sex workers need for privacy or to protect themselves. A fundraiser for struggling sex workers has just reached $90,000. We've only been able to support about 25% of the sex workers who have applied to the fund. And the usual challenges for the industry remain. If sex work was decriminalised, sex workers would be able to access government support. And if we did have consistent anti-discrimination protections, we would have forms of redress to challenge discriminatory responses. States and territories chose initially to reopen other close contact services, such as dentistry, cosmetic procedures and remedial massage, but kept the doors closed at strip clubs and brothels. This isn't our first health crisis. A lot of my friends either stopped working or altered how they were working as soon as COVID-19 became recognised as a problem. And now we're all ready to get back to work just like everyone else.